Hey, thanks for joining me at Love Them Knives channel. LTK here. Got Flanagan watching us, so be careful. The Caster by Harns Knife and Tool. What do you think? I like it. Um, in, in one respect, in another respect, I'm uh, a little disappointed. This knife, I really like the design. Look at the design. Look at how the lines flow on this knife all the way around. It's got a backspacer that matches the G10 scales. And you can get the, you don't have to get it in orange. <laughs> you can get it in black. Uh, I think you can get it in green. In any case, so this is a satin blade. It's a flipper. It's Aus 8 uh, blade steel. I don't think they say it on here. Oh, yeah, they do, right under the name. Aus 8. So, yeah, and it's um, it's not on bearings. So that is, I, I guess, that's my bitch for this knife. Because it's cheap. It's inexpensive. And you get a deep carry pocket clip, right or left hand, tip up carry. You got the Harns Knife and Tool logo on the uh, pivot. But you can get her open in the back, just like that. And in this one, I think I'd probably unscrew this and then go f to the front and get these, um, as opposed to taking the pocket clip off because I'm lazy. Yes, I am extremely lazy in that regard. And this one probably goes into the back spacer here, but probably not that one. So you could pop them all pretty easy. This, this, and one of these two screws. Mm, yeah. Any case, I say, yes, it still flips, still opens, but boy, there's just a big difference between like the talisman, which has bearings, and look at the drop. You know, different feel, different sound, different everything about it. And this one, disengage lock bar. Come on. Come on. You know, see what I'm saying? Okay, that's different. Now, it's a beater knife, right? It's 20-something bucks. Not a big deal. Got it from Power Cutlery, uh, this one. And I think Power Cutlery also usually carries the talisman as well. So between the two knives, for the exact same price, if they were the exact same price, which I don't know right off the top of my head, but they're close. Uh, probably, especially if you want a flipper toy built into your knife, then this would be the one to get. Now, this is right hand tip up carry. It has bearings, cool knife. This one, right or left hand tip up carry, different design. And if you don't care about the, the you know, the ease of swinging it open or close, and you do maybe like the fact that it has washers because yeah you're not going to get a bunch of gunk and garbage into the bearings where you got to tear it apart you know clean out the bearing thing and relube it put it back together where washers are flat against the blade you don't get anything between the washer and the blade per se so that stays clean so you know easier to clean this out too uh, in that regard, you probably don't even have to disassemble it. You can just hose it down through there, whatever, blow it with some uh, compressed air to clean it out and go again. So maintenance, probably a little less complicated. Uh, looks are beautiful. I like it actually as much as I do the talisman, if not more, as far as the looks go. And it's got a cutout in the blade. So... Can you? Yes, you can. You can finger flick this. So you can open it with your thumb. Actually, it's easier the middle finger. But the flipper tab, I mean, it did not flip well when it first came out. After a while, it gets smoother. That's the way it goes with bushings. So this one, and you can always back, if this is a little too stiff and everything, you can always back this off a little bit. Just you don't want to give yourself blade play, but as long as you don't have any blade play, you can back it off and give yourself a little, a little easier action on here. But the design is nice. Uh, it looks like, like a good little blade actually. Can't remember, was it 20, 
23 bucks, something like that. So it's Ganzo knife, you know. And you'd rather have a Ganzo? Have a Ganzo. I mean, but I'm just saying, this is an option. It's got a nice little choil up here for sharpening. The grind looks nice and smooth. The plunge looks pretty symmetrical. I mean, uh, the fit and finish is good on the knife. And it's still leaking a little lube. In any case, there's your lockup with the liner. Take a look inside. No, they did not skeletonize the, the uh, steel liners in here, but they are embedded in here so they don't show, which a lot of people like the aesthetics of that better. So be what it may. The backspacer, which does protect the blade and it kind of finishes the look of the knife as far as I'm concerned. So I like the look of it. That's why I got it. Plus, I was on powder, Power Cutlery. I'll leave you the link to that. I was on Power Cutlery getting a couple of Ganzo knives, some of the 762, 763 to review. And I saw this because I just clicked on Harns because I'm always kind of somewhat, you know, fascinated and interested in what they're doing. And I saw the caster and I thought, I kept thinking somebody had said something about the caster saying they were a bit disappointed because it didn't have bearings. Okay, I get it. I get it. Um, overall, uh, well, let's not put it through the hole here. 0.127, so what, about 3.2 millimeters? Yeah, there you go. Blade stock and overall thickness is going to be over half inch, it looks like. Uh, close to 14 millimeters, 13.8, 0.54. So it's a good handful. You know, how heavy is it? Let's find out. In grams, 123 grams. 4.34 ounces. Not bad. Not bad. So if you can train yours the way I've trained mine, it's still not bad to flip. It doesn't feel like one with bearings. That's just definitely a different feel. You see that drop away, right? That's, that's crazy good. Yeah, I know. Especially for an old beater. This one? No, it's not doing that. No, it's not. But that's just the way it is. Still... It opens, it works, it's a good looking design. So it may be something you're interested in. I just thought I'd throw it out there for you guys. Harns Knife and Tool, trying to keep up a little bit. You know, I mean, <laughs> you talk about one on washers that's almost as good as, see that just, ooh, that just about is like uh, bearings on the blazer. Now the blazer's huge. This is a huge knife, huge freaking knife. And it weighs a ton and a half. But it was like 25 bucks. And it is, you know, skeletonized liners and everything. It's got this lockout on the blade and everything. But it's tipped down right hand only. But it's such a cool looking knife. I love that buoy looking blade on there. This is really a cool looking knife. So if you're interested in, in getting the blazer and you're kind of looking for a little advice, should I get it? Hey, $25 knife, $27 knife? Now, I don't think you can go wrong. It's cool. I like it. It's 9CR18, like the H&K knives were uh, that Benchmade made for H&K. So 8CR9, 9CR18, done to the right uh, hardness, uh, proper heat treat, yes. Hell yeah. And is it flickable? Very flickable. <laughs> Comes in a gigantic box, too. Comes in a gigantic box, but oh well. Any case, oh, you don't get the lanyard. I made that myself. But in any case, yeah, cool. All right, I'm going to let you go. I mean, Harns, Knife and Tool, they make all kind of fixed blades, right? Like this little dog, and of course, they, they made the... Harns Knife and Tool Desert Fox, which is a really cool one. So look at my reviews on this 
the Desert Fox, uh, the Blazer, the Talisman, which is right here. So we've got all kinds of uh, stuff, but I'm kind of fascinated by them. I'm not following their whole line. I've seen a lot of their knives that they have posted, and there's a bunch of them I'm not interested in, just design-wise or whatever. But I pluck, look at a few here and there. Interesting knives. Um, you know, budget-oriented ones you can just carry, use, abuse, that kind of thing. But they seem to be solid. You know, sharp out of the box, solid, useful knives, as much as a Ganzo or any other kind of, you know, Sanran, Mu, Enlan, some of those knives that are really inexpensive. Hey, they're right in there with them. They're really usable. So, yeah, and you've lost nothing pretty much if you lose the knife or break it, you know, so that kind of thing. I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll be back with another, you know, video. <laughs> Review is a little formal to say, but another video on more knives very soon. Until then, hey guys, you know what we do around here. We love them knives, so stay sharp.